guest tonight is going to be appearing at the Sacramento Punchline this weekend. Please welcome a very funny comedian, Dave Attell. Thanks. I got to tell you something. This is like, uh, <laughs> I, uh, I was waiting to come on, right? I'm on national TV and all, but I got this stain right here. Look at that. It's my, it's my own fault because I was drinking, you know? My favorite drink. A lot. And, um, <laughs> but I, uh, I'm glad to be here. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm very glad to be here because I am from the New York area. I'm originally from Long Island. That's where I am from, yes. Yes, that's right. Which is a great place to raise a young boy into a man who will live in his own mom's basement. That's right. <laughs> you know, we didn't have any of the things of the ghettos like the drive-by shootings and the who's my baby daddy stuff. We had to make our own problems. We had a little thing called devil worship. That's what we had. <laughs> Just some airplane glue, a Ouija board, and a fat girl who needed attention. You know, and I'll tell you. Oh, oh me bad. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on, boys will be boys, right? So, you know, I was supposed to go to my high school reunion. I'm not going, I'll tell you why. If I want to see one of the losers I went to high school with, I'll get a pizza delivered, all right? Because they were idiots. And they beat me up all the time. A lot. <laughs> so, I'm older now, you know? And uh, I gotta start like, uh, I gotta quit smoking. Like everybody else, I gotta quit. But you know, there'll always be times when you want a cigarette, right? There'll always be times when you'll need a cigarette, like, after you have sex with a woman, you want a cigarette. You don't roll off a beautiful girl and go, oh, that was amazing. Skittles? Would you like a Skittle? <laughs> and after terrible things happen, you want a cigarette. Like, your roommate falls down five flights of stairs like you planned. Or, um, <laughs> murder, you know? Sex and murder are a lot alike, because you say the same things after both, don't you? Damn. I gotta get the hell out of here. Oh, where are my shoes? Killing! <laughs> this guy's egging me on. These music guys, man. They get all the women. That's not fair, you know? Women see these music guys. If you play guitar, you will get women. Because women will look at you and go, look at that guy with the guitar. He could get me some pot. Now. <laughs> and it doesn't matter. Even a banjo. A banjo, even your own family is attracted to you. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm waiting. <laughs> oh, come on. That doesn't matter, right? The only instrument that won't get you any action is the triangle. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that will not get you anything. <laughs> All right. So, what are we talking about? Yeah, a lot of comics. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone. I'm sorry. I'm just glad to be here, all right? Come on. All right. I'm not retarded, all right? I don't need that. Now, uh, <laughs> I, <laughs> a lot of comics talk about the differences between men and women all the time. Men like football. Women like baking. You know, that kind of stuff. I don't do that. I like to talk about the similarities between men and women. You know, men and women are a lot alike in certain situations, like when they're both on fire. They're exactly alike. It's not, it's not, I'm a woman on fire, get some water. I'm a man on fire, get some sand, I'm gonna miss the hockey game. It's I'm on fire. <laughs> So when you're having a fight with your lady tonight, maybe you left the toilet seat up or you caught her with a rock band. You guys, just remember, you wouldn't be having that fight if you both were on fire, all right? That's pretty good. Great. So, everybody, everybody needs a friend, you know, like a dog. I wanted to get a dog so badly until I started seeing that animal attack show. Oh, man, no way, Jose. I'll tell you, I watched that show, right? I was watching the show, it's true, okay? Watching that bullfight, it was a bullfight in Spain, okay? And this guy jumps into the bullring, right? And the bull gets him down with his horns and rips off his pants and underwear, just with his horns. Not with drugs or promises of acting work, just with horns, right? 
and then the guy gets up and he starts running with his penis flapping in the air. He doesn't even try and cover it because that's how scared the man is. That's what fear looks like. A man running with his penis flapping in the air. If you walk out of here tonight and you see a guy running down the street with his penis flapping in the air, run with that man. Because there is some scary stuff coming the other way. Thank you. Thank you very much. Stay tuned for later. We will see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.